Hi guys, this is Derek with Automatic Door and Hardware. Um, today we are going to be wiring in a strike into our unit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, how to use our um, harness um, and how exactly it connects to the um, control board. Uh, with this setup, what I'm going to do, I'm using, currently I'm, I got an easy 4000 unit. We got power to it um, so that we can show you how it works. Um, and what I'm going to be using here is a, a Hess 1006 electric strike. Um, so, and I'm, obviously I'm not going to be installing this on a door. I'm just going to show you exactly how you wire it. Um, so, here we go. here's the strike itself, which is what we need. And this is what I'm, this is what I'm after here. So let me open this up. So not only do we need um, the harness for this, but I'll show you too here. We're going to use the harness um, to plug right into the, the lock, um, the lock uh, plug right here. So we're gonna use the uh, 24 volt DC um, because that's what our onboard power supply is. Um, so see I'm using the 24 volt DC unit. Uh, I'm gonna plug that in. There we go. Okay. In the box you get with the, all your harnesses, you're gonna get a harness that says a CN8 lock. And this is what we are going to use here. So I'm gonna strip these off really quick. Um, so with this lock setup here, I'm going to use the onboard power and I'm going to run it as if uh, there is really no access control on the door. So I'm gonna run it as if um, we just have a latch bolt we need to overcome, um, but there is no actual keypad or anything that needs to function with it. It's just so that the door can open without having to somebody to physically turn that, um, that uh, lock set. So. All right, I got these stripped. <clears throat> so first thing we're gonna do here is we are going to use the black wire from CN8 and we are going to go to number one on the terminal block. So number one is going to be, it, you can see here it is labeled on this side, one, two, three. Um, number one is going to be your 24 volt DC. So this is going to energize the strike. So, I'm going to put that in here. And I looks like I stripped these back a little bit too far for my like in here, but I will go ahead and use it right now. We're just bench testing. Um, I would recommend you guys don't have wires stripped back this far because they could potentially short if something moves around in here. <laughs> okay, next one we are going to do is we're gonna do the white, white wire. White is going to be our common here. So we are going to go um, to the strike and we are going to go to the positive side of the strike. Okay, so on Hess's strike, it is going to be the positive side is going to be the violet wire for the 24 volt DC. So again, we're going to go white here. And I'm just going to tie these together. All right. And then the last wire here, I'm gonna to have to get this a little bit closer because we're gonna to have to get this in here. Um, is going to go, which is the strike negative wire, which is gonna be the black on this Hess 1006. We are going to go, again, everything's tight because I'm not, um, we're gonna go into the negative side here of uh, the terminal block, which is going to be number three. which is going to be our common here. So tighten that in. All right, so now what we have is we have basically, um, and then we're gonna have this one wire. It's just not gonna be, not gonna be used. Um, so don't have to worry about the green wire on this. Um, so now what you can see what we have, and this fell off here. Let me go put up, let me put a wire nut on this real quick. Okay, so I wire nutted that so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, all right, so what's what's happening here is we have 
24 volts coming off the control right here. Um, and then it's going to run through this circuitry, which is going to um, the control, which will actually um, power um, and complete this circuit here for the strike. Um, so, and then this is going back to common. So we have 24 volts across these two legs here. Um, and then when we plug into this port, it is actually gonna be doing the switching um, to uh, power that strike on and power that strike off when we um, do a cycle here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. The lock one is gonna be the um, this uh, larger three pin right next to the fuse. Plug this in. All right, and so now what's gonna happen is the unit in the off position. This is gonna indicate we're in program mode. And what we need to go to is we need to go to, we need to go to LL. LL, I'm gonna set, see it's off right now. So this is going to turn the strike on, so I turned it on. Um, and then we also need to turn UL to two. So we're gonna go, go back to UL. And we're gonna set that to Okay, so now we should be okay. So I'm gonna put it back in automatic mode here. I'll let the door close, and I'm gonna signal an activation with the down button here. And as you can see, the strike released, see? So it's not released, I'm gonna signal an activation. Hang on, I'm gonna wait for it to cycle here. to come fully shut. So now I'm gonna signal an activation here. So by pressing the down button. And then, see, just enough. So it stays unlocked just enough for the door to open up um, and then um, it will relock again uh, so that the door will then be um, able to latch. Um, so that is how you wire up um, an electric strike um, for a non-access control door. Um, you can, uh, we sell the strikes, we sell um, this, this unit, um, and you can find it all at autodoorandhardware.com.